When it comes to dealing with disrespect, it's a crucial skill to master. Disrespect can come in various forms, from a rude comment to outright hostility. It's how we handle these situations that truly defines our character. In this video, we're going to delve into eight stoic lessons that can help you effectively handle disrespect in your life. So buckle up and get ready to empower yourself with timeless wisdom. Lesson number one, remain calm and do not retaliate. When someone disregards or insults you, the natural reaction is often to lash out in anger or seek revenge. However, this only escalates the situation and can lead to further conflict. Instead, practice the art of remaining calm. Take a deep breath and detach yourself from your emotions. Picture yourself observing the situation from a distance like a chess player strategizing their next move. This perspective shift allows you to see the bigger picture and realize that most disrespectful acts aren't worth a response. Remember, it's not the disrespect itself that harms us, but rather our interpretation of it. Imagine you're in a heated argument with a colleague who makes a derogatory remark about your work. Instead of reacting impulsively, take a moment to collect your thoughts and respond calmly. By doing so, you demonstrate emotional maturity and self-control. Lesson number two, set clear boundaries. Stoicism doesn't advocate for passivity or allowing others to walk all over you. It's essential to establish clear boundaries that safeguard your dignity and self-respect. When someone crosses these boundaries, assert yourself calmly but firmly. Maintain strong eye contact to convey your seriousness and communicate your expectations clearly. If a friend consistently belittles you in front of others, calmly address the issue and express how their behavior is unacceptable. By setting boundaries, you assert your worth and demand to be treated with respect. Lesson number three, reflect on yourself. It's easy to point fingers and blame others for disrespecting us. However, it's equally important to engage in self-reflection and evaluate our own actions. Ask yourself if there's any truth in what the other person said or did, or if your behavior may have contributed to the situation. By taking responsibility for our actions, we can learn and grow from our mistakes. Consider a scenario where a family member criticizes your choices. Instead of reacting defensively, reflect on whether there's any validity to their concerns. This introspection allows you to address any underlying issues and maintain healthier relationships. Lesson number four, consider the source. Before reacting to disrespect, pause to consider the motives behind the other person's behavior. Are they projecting their own insecurities or frustrations onto you? Remember the wise words of Seneca, He who takes offense when no offense is intended is a fool. By understanding that people's actions often reflect their inner struggles, you can choose not to take their words personally. If a co-worker constantly undermines your contributions, consider whether they feel threatened by your success. By empathizing with their insecurities, you can respond with compassion rather than anger. Lesson number five, acceptance. Disrespect is an inevitable part of life, and we must accept this reality. While we can't control how others treat us, we have the power to choose our response. By accepting this truth, we free ourselves from the burden of anger and resentment. Instead of dwelling on the disrespect, focus on what you can control and channel your energy into positive endeavors. Imagine receiving criticism from a peer during a team meeting. Instead of dwelling on the negativity, accept that criticism is a part of professional growth and use it as an opportunity to improve. Lesson number six, use humor. Responding to disrespect with humor is a powerful way to diffuse tense situations. 
instead of reacting defensively, respond with a witty remark or light-hearted joke. This not only diffuses the tension, but also catches the other person off guard. By choosing humor, you demonstrate emotional intelligence and refuse to let negativity affect you. If someone makes a sarcastic comment about your appearance, respond with a playful quip that shifts the tone of the conversation. This demonstrates your ability to maintain composure and handle disrespect gracefully. Lesson number seven, practice active listening. Sometimes, the best response to disrespect is simply to listen. Rather than reacting defensively, take the time to understand the other person's perspective. Active listening allows you to empathize with their concerns and address the underlying issues. By demonstrating empathy and understanding, you can transform disrespectful interactions into opportunities for constructive dialogue. Imagine a friend expressing frustration with your behavior in a heated argument. Instead of becoming defensive, listen attentively to their grievances and validate their feelings. This shows that you value their perspective and are willing to address any misunderstandings. Lesson number eight, choose forgiveness. Holding on to resentment only harms us in the long run. Instead of dwelling on past grievances, choose to forgive and let go of negative emotions. Forgiveness is not a sign of weakness, but a testament to inner strength and resilience. By forgiving others, we free ourselves from the burden of anger and resentment, allowing us to move forward with grace and compassion. If a family member says something hurtful during an argument, choose to forgive them rather than holding on to grudges. This act of forgiveness not only benefits your mental well-being, but also strengthens your relationships. Handling disrespect requires a combination of self-awareness, emotional intelligence, and resilience. By applying these stoic lessons in your daily life, you can navigate in disrespectful situations with grace and dignity. True strength lies not in reacting impulsively, but in responding thoughtfully and purposefully. So the next time you encounter disrespect, channel your inner stoic and rise above the negativity with wisdom and grace. Remember, practicing these stoic lessons is an ongoing journey. It takes time and effort to master the art of handling disrespect with grace and dignity. But with consistent practice, you'll find yourself becoming more resilient and less affected by others' words and actions. One final thought to leave you with is this. At the end of the day, how we choose to respond to disrespect says more about our character than the disrespect itself. By embodying the principles of Stoicism, we can cultivate inner peace and strength, regardless of external circumstances. So the next time you find yourself faced with disrespect, remember these eight Stoic lessons. Remain calm and do not retaliate. Set clear boundaries, reflect on yourself, consider the source, practice acceptance, use humor, practice active listening, and choose forgiveness. By incorporating these lessons into your life, you'll not only handle disrespect more effectively, but also cultivate a deeper sense of self-awareness and resilience. Until next time, stay strong and stoic. This is Motivation Today. Thanks for watching and stay blessed.